Hi everyone, my name is Roberta Cullen and some people or students, I should say, call me Miss Roberta if they've been to my summer camps or my acting classes. I've been teaching acting classes in Alexandria for more than 15 years now and last year I started a new program called Alexandria Children's Theater and we have classes on Saturdays at Burgundy Farm Country Day School. I also teach at Burgundy Farm School during the school year, and I teach after school classes uh, for the Alexandria Public School System. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting kind of tired of being home and not having any classes to teach. Maybe you're tired of being home and not seeing your teachers or your coaches or other important adults that you usually see each day during the week. Well, I decided today that I'm going to do my first ever online story time because I miss reading stories to children. So today I chose a story that I usually read at my summer camps on Thursdays when we have our Mad Hatter's tea party because today's a gray day and kind of chilly outside. It seemed like a good time for this story to come out of the box. And let me get my glasses on so I can read it more easily. And as I read this story, you might notice that I'm going to change my voice a little because actors love to change their voices and change the way they move to show characters. But I'll just be changing my voice a little today and adding an English accent because this is an English story. It's a British story called the tiger who came to tea and what I'll do is I'll read the pages first and then I'll hold the book up so you can see the illustrations or pictures inside let's start Once there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ringing at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman because he delivered this morning. It can't be the boy from the grocery store because this isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be Daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see who's there. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course. Come in. So the tiger came into their kitchen and sat down at their table. Sophie's mummy asked, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Home. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns, which are kind of like cupcakes. But the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits, which are cookies. He ate all the cake. And then there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy asked, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk from their milk jug and all the tea from the teapot. Imagine. 
And then he looked around the room to see what else he could find. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food that they had in the little fridge. Then he ate all the packages and all the tins or cans that they had in their cupboard. Sophie likes watching him. <laughs> then he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer. And then all the water in their tap. That's the British word for faucet. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he left. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger's eaten it all. And Sophie found out she couldn't have a bath. The tiger had drunk all the water in the faucets. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. And Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk on all the drinks. And Sophie's daddy said, I know just what we'll do. We'll put on our coats and we'll go out to the cafe. Sophie still has on her pajamas. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. Do you see another animal with stripes in this picture? They had a lovely supper with sausages and chips, that's french fries, and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots of things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger would ever come to tea again. But he never did. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And that's the end of our story for today. The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll tune in again because I hope to do a different story every day as long as we need to, until I get to go back to my school and my classes and see my students again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll get to have some hot chocolate or maybe a cup of tea today on this dreary rainy day. Goodbye.